you said you were immersed in it. So what specifically happened in Japan at that time to, to make you think, oh, my language is really progressing now? Well, I had a host family, so, you know. Perfect. I mean, I was speaking Japanese all the time. At college, of course, I had other courses too, so it wasn't like I was focusing solely on Japanese. But once I was in Japan, it was pretty much focusing full-time on Japanese. Yeah. And this, the language school I went to was a really great school, just a really amazing school. And they made it interesting, like you're in school all day just studying Japanese, but they made it interesting by like breaking it up into different classes and different teachers. And, you know, some of them were like, let's watch TV in Japanese. You know, it was fun. They tried to make it fun. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I just felt like doing it full time for nine months. What you've just heard was a clip from a podcast series called The Learner Journals, available on the Mandarin Monkey app where I try to find out how people acquire languages. I want to know the tips, the tricks, the methods, and the motivations to rocket the rest of our efforts into the stratosphere. So if you haven't already, go and download the Mandarin Monkey app, trial it, and then binge the series. There are so many good tips and tricks for you to know.